planet has a mysterious hum. This is the story of the mystery noise that says a lot about modern life. Maybe you can hear it. A low frequency hum, almost a vibration just on the threshold of human hearing. It's not particularly loud. In fact, you might not have noticed it, but once you do, you can't stop hearing it. It sounds like a truck idling in the street or the atmospheric din of an aeroplane flying overhead that never gets further away. You can hear it when you're outside, but strangely, it seems louder indoors and particularly at night. For some people, it causes headaches, dizziness, and even nosebleeds. If you do hear it, you're among the roughly 4% of the world's population affected by the hum. A frequently reported, but little understood, global phenomenon. The earliest reliable reports of the hum date from the UK in the mid-1970s, most notably in the city of Bristol. Letters began appearing in the Bristol Evening Post about a low rumble heard by dozens of residents throughout the city. What began as an irritating, if innoxious, noise eventually drove many who heard it to distraction and sadly was linked to two suicides. A prevailing theory was the Bristol hum originated from large industrial fans. But in a strange twist, the people of Bristol say the hum persists to this day, despite the industrial fans in a warehouse having long been decommissioned. There are numerous reports of the hum all over the world. In a Scottish study, it was thought the noise might have come from a mating fish. An intriguing theory is the hum is caused by the atmospheric jet stream shearing against slower moving air, causing a very low frequency sound which can be amplified by electricity pylons. And a French team proposed the hum was caused by ocean waves extending down to the bottom of the ocean floor and shaking the earth as they collided with ridges and continental shelves. Other scientists have suggested the hum is caused by volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. And there is a report that the Krakatoa volcano in 1883 left the Earth vibrating for days. Yet another theory points to the nearly 8 million lightning strikes that hit the Earth every day. These strikes build up a massive electromagnetic charge which in turn causes the air between the surface of the Earth and the ionosphere to resonate. Much of the hum speaks to the enduring mysteries of the natural world. But it also speaks to the enduring mysteries of our human constructed one. Is the hum a byproduct of our technological advances? In some ways, it is. Let me explain. You, at some point, 
have been struck by the sudden silence that befalls your house when the power is cut. It always comes as a surprise. We are constantly surrounded by small sounds. The fridge. The air conditioner. A fan. Have we, as a modern human, filtered out these low-pitched frequencies? One theory, the ultra-low frequencies used to communicate with submarines might be interacting with the soft tissue of our skulls. This is known as the microwave auditory effect and is being studied by the Pentagon as a sonic weapon. So, you can imagine there is a full-blown conspiracy theory about the hum. Could it really be caused by 5G phones? Or is it a resonant frequency of Mother Earth? The hum has become an empty vessel for us to fill with our fears, desires, and flights of fancy. What do you think? Do you hear the hum? What do you think causes it? Is it a government plot? An alien intervention? Or mating fish being noisy? I think it's all in our head. It's a real sound. But we're so surrounded by micro frequencies that when we experience silence, we hear the hum of our industrial world. The truth is out there.